Uh, so here's a, a very early look. Uh, this is uh, Outdoor Vitals have come up with a, this is called the Dragon Wool Hoodie. Um, it's a little bit unusual, so I thought I'd give you a very first look because uh, at the time of recording this, it's not actually out yet. Um, I've been testing this for a couple of weeks now, and I really, really, really like it. Um, there's a, a continuing debate among people that are outdoors on synthetic versus wool. Um, wool has various properties that are great in certain conditions, and synthetic is better in others. So synthetic layers tend to dry quickly, and the wicking is good. Wool can tend to be a bit clammy and take a long time to dry and it's difficult to wash but it's warm even when it's wet. And um, what this hoodie does is kind of combine both. Um, so it's a, it's a mixture of fabrics between a really good quality merino wool and a synthetic uh, weave as well. And as a result you kind of get the best of both worlds and I've really noticed that using it. Um, something that pictures don't really do justice for is that actually it's a very thin fabric. It's, uh, I, I would compare it to something like a 100 or 200 GSM layer that you would wear. So it's not like a thick fleecy fleece hoodie. It's more like a, a very thin running or hiking top that you would wear. Um, features wise, obviously being a hoodie, there's no real surprises. It's got a, a zip down here, down the middle, so you can regulate your body temperature a little bit under hood, which I don't actually use that often with it, but it's still there if you want it. It's tailored quite nicely. It actually looks really nice on. It's a little bit tailored. It's got a little bit longer at the back than the front, which is always nice on outdoor gear. Something else I really like on it, uh, it's got little thumb loops on the sleeves, which is also a nice touch. And if I come in nice and close, you can see the waffle of the material on the outside that helps wick moisture away. But you can also see if I zoom in on the material on the inside, you can see that the material is a kind of slightly different um, finish, which I think is the wool itself up against your skin. Um, so all in all, you end up with a hoodie that's kind of the best of both worlds. It's I've washed it quite aggressively on quite a high temperature to see what would happen and it doesn't shrink, it doesn't mess around, you don't have to lay it flat when you've washed it, you can just treat it like a synthetic top which is awesome when you're washing it and wearing it. It dries incredibly quickly, it's warm when it needs to be, it wicks moisture away when it doesn't. So this serves two purposes for me and I've been using it quite a lot. It's great as a layer on its own on those days where it's not too hot, not too cold and that you get a lot in spring. And it also acts as a really, really good base layer on colder days as well. Um, so there you go. There's a kind of first look. This is the Outdoor Vitals um, Dragon Wool hoodie. And I have to say I'm super impressed with it.